They'll be making sure that polling places are in compliance with federal voting rights laws. Why are they coming here? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Slauson is live at the Erie County Board of Elections in downtown Buffalo. Good evening. Yeah, Ashley, the Department of Justice being in Erie County deals with voter accessibility. Now, they're actually looking into Erie County due to the highly Hispanic and Spanish-speaking population. Now, this is actually a pretty good time for the Department of Justice to be spending an election day here in western New York. I spoke with the folks over at the Board of Elections earlier today, and they told me that voter turnout could be pretty similar to that of the 2016 presidential election. The Monday before a midterm election is usually hectic, but this Monday has a different feel. Seeing the activity being so much heightened uh, that it almost seems like a presidential year. At the Erie County Board of Elections, both the Democratic and Republican sides are preparing for an increased turnout. I've been an election commissioner for 25 years. This seems to be one of the more heightened uh, elections. Tomorrow is like our Super Bowl here at the Board of Elections. In a typical midterm election, early voting in Erie County will average around 11,000. But this year, Erie County is reporting 22,000 already. That's a 100% increase and only a few thousand below the last presidential election. And a lot of excitement is generated uh, not only in the congressional election and the national scene, but on the local level as well. This year, the Department of Justice announced Erie County will be the only New York County to be monitored for voting rights compliance. According to the Board of Elections, this is routine in an area with a high level of Spanish-speaking voters. A significant Spanish population, and there are a number of election districts which fall within the uh, civil rights jurisdiction. The DOJ will make sure that voting is accessible to all, and after a few polling locations ran out of ballots during the Democratic primary, Erie County Democratic Committee Chairman Jeremy Zellner will make sure ballots are also overabundant. We're going to um, stay on top of the ballot situation to proactively go out and make sure everybody is getting what they what, what they need from us. And plenty of ballots will be needed as a record year is on the horizon. We're very confident that tomorrow is going to go very well. Both Erie County chairmen say they are going to be in the office bright and early tomorrow morning. That's because polls actually open in just under seven hours from now. That's 6 a.m. here in Erie County. Live in Buffalo tonight, Jeff Sloss. Okay, thank you very much, Jeff. And if you run into any trouble,